Hi, Gareth here, and in this video, I'm going to be going through the top 10 features that make LearnWorlds one of the most powerful e-learning platforms out there for you to host your online courses on. So if you're thinking about trying out LearnWorlds yourself, then this video is most definitely for you. I'll also put a link in the description to where you can get a 30-day free trial and our onboarding quick start tutorial so you can get set up quickly and try some of these features out for yourself. With that said, let's get started. Feature number one is the site builder and built-in templates. Now, once inside, you've probably already selected the template that you want to start editing. And if you wanted to change that template, you could just come down to site flavors here and start editing a different template. But once inside, go to edit your school and you'll see that the template itself has automatically filled with all of the pages that you need for your course. So if you go into the drop down here, you will see that your sales pages, about pages, contact pages, course pages, home pages, thank you pages, and including all of your privacy terms and conditions and cookie policy pages have automatically been added for you. All you need to do is go into each page, edit them or delete them if you do not want them on there for yourself. And you can also add additional pages so you can automatically build out your website. But the idea is that they pre-populated it for you with everything you need so you can just go into that template and start editing it. Now the builder itself is very similar to the likes of ClickFunnels and other tools that have these sections and columns for editing. So it's very easy to navigate. But the difference that I really like is that you can add different sections and they are automatically created templates for you. So even if you don't like the template that you've downloaded, you're going to be able to go in there and create new sections for the pages and build pages from scratch very, very quickly and very, very easily. These are automatically added and you can change any of them to a different design. Even once you've added text, images and videos, you can just go in there and select a different one to see what it looks like. Feature number two is the blog. You actually have a built-in blog inside of LearnWorlds that you can use to basically get rid of your WordPress blog. You no longer need to worry about plugins and themes and everything else for your blog. You can now host it all in one platform. So not only can you host your web pages, your courses, your sales pages, and all of your courses as well, you can now use the one tool to rule them all, a bit like Lord of the Rings, where you can actually set up your blog and have all of your blog posts in there that can internally link to your courses and your offers so that you can navigate people from your blog posts and send them to your courses, which is incredibly powerful and makes it much easier just to manage everything in one tool. Feature number three is the course builder. Now the course builder has similar features to other course builders out there, but you can literally go inside, create and add any course you want. If I go into one of these ones here, you have many powerful features, some additional features we're about to get to, and it's all been pre-created. So your sales page has automatically been added here. And if you go into it, you can edit it in the same way that you can any other pages. And if you come down, what is automatically updated is all of the course content. So as you start to add the content, you will be able to start seeing it here automatically. So what I love is that this automatically updates with lots, lots of different information based on what you put into the online courses and whether they are live or if they are not live. So what we can then do next is come across the top here. You see that you can add your contents. This is the contents that automatically updates onto the layout of the page. You can update the access to make it coming soon, enroll now, all of the different features you would expect. But there's actually a lot more power in terms of what you can control inside of your online courses. You can then update update the pricing, the design of the buttons, whether there's going to be a discount. You've got all of the different settings from the design, from the SEO and everything else. You can actually see what it's going to look like on Google and also if you share it on social media. And then the course player, you have multiple options to select from and they look a little bit like Udemy or Teachable and also Thinkific in the terms of the design here. And you have a lot of different functionality for the player here as well. The video library is massively powerful. I really love this. You can actually put all of your videos inside. Some platforms do this, some don't, but I have noticed that the videos play much, much faster on average, approximately two times faster on testing than some of the other tools out there. So I'm not entirely sure what they are actually doing, but the videos play much, much quicker, which is great for your marketing videos, but also your course videos, especially if people are using mobile devices. Another great feature is then that you have the dashboard here where you can actually see all of the analytics for your course, for that particular course at a glance. Feature number four is interactive videos. This is something I've not seen in any other platform out there. Interactive videos literally let you edit inside the videos to make sure that there's interactive features from everything from quizzes to calls to action and adding images and 
basically many different overlays and text and graphics and everything else to your videos to make them interactive, to engage people more and to make sure that people are actually going to watch the video in full. Now, if you go into the content side and you select a video, you can literally go edit video and then it's going to display all of the different features that you can add to the video down the side. As I said, you can add text sections, lower halves, you can add images, logos, pointers, interactive elements such as offers, quizzes, so you can have questions. So if you see a drop off in your video where people aren't engaging, you can ask some questions to make sure that the video pauses and people have to engage with the video. So if they're not paying attention, they have to come back, engage with the video, which is going to improve the experience of your students and to make sure that people actually complete the courses and get the results that you want. You can also add a table of contents, thumbnails, subtitles, interactive scripts, watermarks, change the player's skin to the design you want. And then you can also see the video data inside. So you can see if there's drop offs in your video, which means that you may need to change something or add some basic types of interactive elements, as I just said before, which is going to help engagement and hopefully get this graph going up to make sure that the engagement in the, in the video is continuing and people are watching it all the way through. Feature number five is communities and groups. Now, I absolutely love this feature. If you go into the settings on the side and come down to learn apps, you're able to select the community here. Now, the community is basically an inbuilt Facebook style community where you're able to engage with your audience. There's also on the video level inside the course itself on any topic, people can discuss different questions they may have with a particular lesson, which are then shared in the community. But you can also create your own Facebook style community, which means no more Facebook groups and people not seeing your posts. You can also message people inside and you can do everything from polls. You can allow people to communicate with each other. They can start their own groups or you could just start your own groups for different lessons and different courses. But literally you have all of the community inside, which again brings everything into one platform. So you are creating a learning platform that you can host your blogs on, your community inside, your courses, all of your web pages and all of your marketing as well. Feature number six, as I briefly mentioned, is that you are able to message people inside of the community and inside the course area. So if someone, for example, hasn't updated their card details or has an issue, you can communicate directly inside the system itself. Now, I have not updated this yet. We are not live with this particular course, so there is nothing here. But if there was members here, I would be able to communicate with them directly and send them direct messages. So I wouldn't have to just rely on using my email marketing to be able to reach out to people. I could actually communicate with my members inside directly, which is far more powerful because if you're using the likes of Facebook groups, you wouldn't really be able to do that anymore. They don't really like you direct messaging people en masse or one by one. So there are limitations in Facebook, but you creating your own community and being able to message them directly inside gives you full control over your students, your customers, and your platform. Feature number seven is the mobile app. Now the mobile app is a new feature that they have just added, which allows you to create customizable bespoke white label apps that you can upload and basically allow your students to use, which is massively powerful. Before this, I had only seen this in tools such as Mighty Networks. But Mighty Networks was not a bespoke app unless you were willing to pay about 32,000 a year, which I think we will all agree is a little bit excessive when you're getting started. But having a mobile app opens you up to being able to charge internally in those apps for different courses and programs and also allows you to interact with people on a mobile level, giving people a better mobile experience. And with more consumers moving to consuming inside of mobile apps and many courses moving to mobile apps, this is something that many of us will not be able to avoid and will really want to be tapping into to improve the student experience even further. Now, it's worth mentioning that to launch a mobile app is an additional cost. They currently have it at 169 for both apps at the time of recording this video, which I believe is a launch offer for the new tool. So I don't know what that will be in future, but this is completely white label, your own app that will be uploaded to Android and also onto the iOS app marketplace. Feature number eight is the pop-ups. Now pop-ups are a massively important part of the marketing tools inside of LearnWorlds. Now LearnWorlds it doesn't have the most advanced funnel builder stuff, but it does have a lot of one click upsells, lead capture, and many different features, lots of them leaning around the pop-ups. Now, if you were to go into your pop-ups, you'll notice that you have 
many, many different options, like many tools out there that focus on pop-ups. We know that lead capture and getting people to take action on the page based on what they're doing. Remember, if everybody is in one area, you can have pop-ups that show to your students while they're logged in or on your marketing page pages, trying to get people to sign up to your products and courses. As you go down, you'll see everything from email signups to notifications for marketing to discount. You can also add discount coupons to any of these. There's many more powerful features such as that. Countdown timers to build scarcity and then many different things from Black Friday offers and lots of different options that you can add to get people to take the desired actions, notify them of updates and also basically just to improve your marketing and the student experience as well. Feature number nine is the built-in affiliate center. Now, maybe you don't want other people to sell your courses. Maybe you just want to do it yourself, but getting other people to sell your products is a great way to get free people inside the platform without you having to spend money on ads, creating content or doing anything else. You basically just have your courses, your platform, your subscriptions, your bundles, everything inside, and you give people a percentage of the profits to be able to sell your products. Well, it has a built-in affiliate management system that you can set up and manage all of your leads, customers, payments, and affiliates inside without needing a third-party tool. Feature number 10 and the final one is the analytics. Now the analytics inside this tool are incredibly powerful. You can look at everything on a different level from the user analytics to see if people are completing your courses, to see what they're doing, what they signed up for, what they bought, how much of the courses they consumed. You can, as I showed you before, look inside the videos to see the analytics on a video basis to see each part of what is working inside your marketing, but also inside your courses more importantly, because if people aren't completing the courses, then you really want to know why. You want to be able to look at it and perhaps ask your students if they struggled with a particular area and what you could change to improve it. So you can literally go down and do everything from seeing people that get the grade books, the certificates, the assignments, your questionnaires and question banks for your, your exams. You can see the data from your sales and orders. You can also see it from your product revenue, your instructors, everything on an affiliate level as well, you can see inside here. So it's not just the at a glance inside the courses or inside the dashboard or inside the video, you can actually break everything down in the report center here to see everything on a broken down level to see how your courses and your marketing is performing. Now, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, please, as this helps grow our channel and helps us reach more people. And did I miss any features out there that you think are key to making LearnWorlds one of the best learning platforms out there? If I missed anything, then mention in the comments below. I'd love to hear back from you. And as I said before, I will put a link in the description to the 30-day free trial that you can get to test these features out for yourself. And also the quick start onboarding video tutorial that I created to help you get started quickly as some of it can be a little bit overwhelming when you first get started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside the next training video.